Alright, hey guys, it is me, Seymour119, here to do a tutorial on G Stomper Studio. It's been a little while since I put one of these up here. I thought I'd maybe do another one. And I also still have to finish the side chaining. Um, some of you guys have requested this, so I thought I'd put it up today. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So I was messing around and I figured out how to side chain, but at the same time I also figured out how to do a lot of other stuff. Which is actually pretty cool, but, um, I'm gonna get started with, um, just a basic sound set. Um, I'm gonna use two bars for this, cause you know, we don't really need that many. Okay, we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit a few notes. see if now the side chaining actually consists of certain things certain elements in the um in the VAB synthesizer <laughs> I had to look at it I forgot what it was called for a second I had a brain fart um so basically let me turn my um volume down just a little bit for my um headset I don't want no echo so basically um this stuff right here is how you um these things as well is how you basically sidechain. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take off vibrato. That's the sidechain for that. Unison. <laughs> I nudged the pitch up for a little bit. So let's see. To kind of give it a, um... Give it more of a conceited, trebled sound. You want to RM it and put it up to about 66, 67, 65. Then you want to go to filter one. This is side chaining, basically. You can hear that it's been cut off. The residue is um, the higher the residue, the more weird sounding it is, basically. You can also use the X Y feature, basically. So you see how that works. So let's try making something like recording it so that way I can play it through as a pattern. Okay, so we're gonna um gonna make a beat. You know we gotta always make that beat. Whew, this is a lot of work for me. I'm I'm much more of like a slow working um get it done with forever time type of guy i do like i do like my tasks basically whenever i want and i take how long i want but this is like something I like the snare drum in this one. 
sound, basically. If you get where I'm getting at, then you'll probably understand what I'm trying to say. And then you go down by negative seven. Basically, you go down to negative, negative seven and it'll match the pitch of the um, keys for whatever's playing in your synthesizer track. Synthesizer track. Okay, we're gonna get to the um, side chain in a second. So we got those ready. I'm gonna go ahead and um. So there's a little bit of a tricky thing that I do. It's kind of tricky, but if you time it exactly right, you can get this to work. playing around let's get started okay so basically you want to press the play button you want to press the play button and right at the end of the second pattern press the record button right here and right when you do that at the very end of the um second note the second track right here when it's number two right here up there on the left corner right here basically right there you want to um, press record and start going up First off, let's... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and add it to eight patterns instead of... Instead of, you know... True, because it's too short. trying my best <clears throat> crap okay okay we got it i think we got it all right all right let's make sure i'm on pattern one okay there we go hey 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 uh oh okay yeah, go back oh crap i'm so sorry guys Okay, so, um, I'm going to go ahead and name the patterns, actually. This one will be called Fade In. Fade In. Let me make sure I'm still recording. Still recording, all right. What's good, my nigga? I'm just fine. Um, <laughs> 
Alright, alright. That one's called Fade In. Um, VAB Synthesizer. We go to that. Okay, now we're ready. We are definitely ready. So this is what I'm talking about. You play through it. This is basically what I do. This is how I do it without it messing up. Because if you do it wrong... Wait, hold on, let me shut up. set the pattern I am so sorry hold on let me try a different method I think I did this instead this is a way to um do side chaining when you're recording I am basically this is something really hard to do on G Stumper and I'm hoping you the creator Andreas I'm hoping you can fix this make it much easier for us to record a beat that goes from silent to loud, like, like, <laughs> like, I'm hoping you can make that easier for us, if so, then please do, and I will appreciate it greatly, um, but let's go ahead and try this. Now, that's actually much easier. Instead of doing it like right at the end, just hold it when you press record. Hold down this part, basically. And then press record, then press play. Then as it plays while it's recording, you just move it up. So then basically you get this. So this is what you get. It's kind of a little rusty because I, I like to refine my work. But if I refine it, it's going to take a lot of time. Then you basically get all this. If you enjoyed this video, and please do hit that subscribe button if you have not yet touched it yet, because you know touching a subscribe button is one of the greatest things you can do for your fellow Seymour 119. You can call me Clarence, by the way. Um, ooh, we finally got that 15% reminding. 
Um, I'll see you guys in the next video, or um, whatever video I do, I don't really know. Probably Minecraft, probably Batman, probably even just me falling off a bridge. And living. No, I'm just kidding, but, um, <laughs> stay safe, guys. Peace and love.